Okay, now we will move to the hands-on activity in build. In this activity, we will use the tape diagram. We will use the tape diagram that I just showed you in visualizing multiplicative comparison with diagrams. We will solve the problems the same way, in the same way, in the same way that we did with In the first problem, we need to compare 10 and 2. This is the first problem, and I want to compare between 10 and 2. Here we need to compare 10 and 2, which means we need to know how many 2s are in 10. يعني عايز أعرف ال 10 دي فيها كام 2. Let's draw the tab diagram all together. يبقى here I will solve number 1. هو عندي ال tab diagram as you see here. أنا عايز أعرف ال 10 فيها كام 2. تعالوا نشوف. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 8, plus 2, 8 plus 2, 10. يبقى ال 10 فيها كام 2 let's see I will divide this into 5 sections right يبقى 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus 2 gives me 10 this means what this means in the 10 have 5 twos 10 and they have 5 twos so how many times is 10 greater than 2 هي 10 أكبر من 2 بقد إيه 10 is 5 times greater than 2 10 is 5 times greater than 2. In the same way, let's solve problem number 2. Oh, problem number 2. Here I want to compare between 12 with 3. I is occurring between 12 and 3. Which means we need to know how many 3s fill 12. And I is out of 12 D if you have 3. We can explain this using the tap diagram. As follows, تعالوا بقى number two, هنرسم ال tab diagram بتاعنا. نرسم tab diagram. طب أنا عايزة أعرف إيه؟ عايزة أعرف ال 12 دي فيها كام 3. تعالوا كده نشوف. 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 plus 3 12. Right? يبقى I will divide it into just 4. يبقى I will divide it into 4. Like this. يبقى احنا عرفنا ال 12 فيها كام 3? Yes, 4 threes. So, 12 is 4 times greater than 3. 12, 4 times greater than 3. Let's move to problem number 3. Problem number 3 أنا عايزة أعمل compare between 18 و 6. عايزة أعرف ال 18 دي فيها كام 6. Which means we need to know how many 6 في ال 18. تعالوا برضو نعمل draw the tap diagram بتاعنا اهو this is number 3 هرسم ال tap diagram بتاعي عشان اعرف ال 18 فيها كام 6 تعالوا نشوف كده 6 plus 6 12 plus 6 18 يبقى I have 3 6 in 18 that means in 18 has 3 6s يبقى 18 is 3 times greater than 6 18, three times greater than six. Now, there is another way we can use to compare numbers. في طريقة تانية بقى عشان نعمل compare between the numbers. We can use the multiplication facts we study in primary three. I will explain this through an example. Now we need to compare 24 with six. عايزة أقارن بقى ما بين 24 with six. We know that 24 equals what? Yes, and alpha in 24 equals 6 times 4, right? So we can say that what? 24, 4 times greater than 6. 24 D, تعال نكتبها هنا. 24 is 4 times greater than 6. اوكي شوف الحلقه كامله من خلال تطبيق مدرستنا بلس مدرستنا مستقبل يبدا الان